Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. So, right here we have a graphics card that I just picked up from the post office. And uh, this is, as I've been told, a GTX 980 Ti classified um, that has a dead core. Um, and I just kind of want to check if that is true, and maybe what we can do with the card. Um, and the backstory of this card is that, remember when I showed you the 980 Ti core that I cut out of my uh, gaming, uh, not gaming, Windforce, like, oh no, G1 Gaming? Um, so that person traded in this card for my good core, because uh, they also have a 980 Ti Kingpin with also a dead core that they plan to put my good core on. Um, and yeah, so... They were generous enough to send the card first, and then only require me to send the core, and the card did come in today. And, uh, yeah, let's, un let's unbox this. That sure is a classified card. Uh, and if you're wondering why the I.O. shield is off, they did that for shipping. That's actually quite smart. I I had damage to an I.O. shield in shipping before. And yeah, so this is a 980 Ti. It's a GM200 core. It has Samsung chips. That's very good. Um, if you remember, I have a dead 980 Ti Strix, which has dead memory modules. And if we can't save this core, or like if the core is uh, like actually dead, then I can use this card's memory to fix the Strix, hopefully, unless that one also has core problems, which is a possibility. So, uh, let's let's do our troubleshooting. Let, let's just ignore what we've been told about the core, and let's just uh, do our regular uh, troubleshooting thing. So, um, display out is ground, let's check 12 volt. 12 volt is good, 3.3 volts, 4 pins left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3.3 volt 3 volt is good, um, 12 volt external 1 is good, 12 volt external 2 is also good. So we have no shorts on the inputs, let's check the outputs. So resistance mode, uh, this tab here is also ground, let's check vCore. 2 ohms, that's fine. Uh, memory has SMD inductors, so putting this thing on the back was quite pointless. Let's check memory. Twelve ohms. That is quite low, but it is Samsung based, and I've been told Samsung chips sometimes have really low resistances. Um, and the... I didn't check my other Samsung 980 Ti's, so that might... like, it's not zero, so... Uh, that might be fine, it might indicate a problem, but it might also be fine, like, if the memory controller on the core is shorted, then... that could potentially cause that. Let's check the PEX rail. That's around 100 ohms, that's what we expect. Uh... Then, we have a minor right here that's probably 5 volts. And does this thing not have a 1.8 volts? It, that might be... Like, this thing has dual BIOS, so those might be the BIOS chips and that might be a 1.8 volts rate. I'm not entirely sure about the minor rails on this thing. Uh, like, it's the first time I see this card, I literally just unboxed it. Oh, actually, this might be 5 volts. This looks a lot like what a 5 volt rail on a 780 Ti would look like. Uh, two two kilo ohms. That is gonna be fine. Let's just check. One of these is gonna be ground. Wait, is that actually just two hundred ohms? Four hundred. That's probably twelve volts, and the middle one's probably ground. No. Okay, I'm a bit confused, but uh, it's not shorted, so... Yeah, um... Basically, we can turn it on. Like, if a minor ray doesn't run... Fine. Uh, we can fix that. 
Uh, if a major rail doesn't run, that would be quite unfortunate, because, like, you know, like, I've been told the core is dead. So, there is a rather high chance that the core is actually dead. Um, and what I could do then is uh, turn this thing into an e-power, because this is literally the VRM you would get on an EVGA e-power 4. Uh, so the predecessor to the e-power 5. This is that same VRM. Um, and we might also get memory working, that's like a bonus. But this could be like a very, very capable e-power. Uh, or if I like the card enough, I could just like put it up on my wall. Though if I use the memory modules to fix the Strix, it's not gonna look as good anymore. Like, I'll, I'll do something with the card. Um, also, let's take a closer look at the core. So, 980 Ti's, I've been told. When the core dies, they sometimes, like, spew out underfill on the side. Uh, I can't really see any of that, though. The underfill is a bit darkened, which happens when the card just kind of runs hot. Like, if you run the card on a stock fan curve, after a couple of years, it's just gonna have a slightly browned uh, underfill. But I can't see a crack. Oh, wait. No, I think I can see a crack. Let me, let me make sure that this isn't just like a... Yeah, so... You see that? That is not, like... Yeah, that's a crack. That That's probably a crack. So that core is, like, dead. That looks like a piece of the core is missing. Now, it's a really, really small piece, but it's right down in the middle. Like, I've had cores before that, like, were missing a little bit on the edge. And still worked, because, uh, like, there's a couple, like... I don't know if there's like a millimeter where there's just no circuits there, so if you have a, like just the corner chipped off, that can be fine. This on the other hand, like if it's just this small piece missing, it might be fine. But if there's like hairline cracks that go like down to the bottom layer of the core where there's like the actual circuits, then this is hella dead. Um, it's quite a typical way for 980 Ti's to go. Is that another missing? No. That's just dust. Oh, yeah, that's just dust. Um, yeah, cracked cores is kind of a typical way for 980 Ti's to go. They like to do that, apparently. Like, when, when 980 Ti cores die, more often than not, you'll be able to see it. Like, I've seen cracked cores, I've seen cores spearing out underfill, and this one very obviously has a piece of the die missing. So, at least it's not short circuit. So it's not like a huge crack. Like if you have a if you have a huge crack where it's like just down right down like the through the entire core, usually what you see is just like everything that's connected to the core just goes short circuit. So like core, memory, all just gonna be short circuit, because like the core is just a yeah, just like that. Um, so I'm gonna try to turn this on. If it just over like short circuit protections, then core dead. If it just doesn't show an image, probably core dead. If it shows an image but artifacts like hell and doesn't saw the drivers, still probably core dead. I will be running mats if that happens, just to confirm. Um, but piece of the die missing is usually not a good sign for the health of your core. So yeah. I'm gonna try to turn this on, let's see what happens. So I forgot that EVGA classified and kingpin cards have these handy LEDs right here, which just tell you if everything runs. So all of them are lit up, and so we don't even have to check voltages, because if one wasn't running, this wouldn't be lit up. Also, you wouldn't see that. So, I'm in BIOS, and as you can see, things are not working all that well. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna try to find out how to make uh, this boot onto my mats stick. Uh, I don't know how to get to that boot of a right thing. But we have an image at least, which is more than I would have expected out of like a shattered core. But we obviously have a lot of memory problems. Um, and with that hole in the core, 
it's probably the core. I'm still going to run mats to make sure, like if we only have like one memory module that's faulty, then I would be willing to like take one of the Samsung modules off the Strix and put it on this. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna see like an entire channel dead or like all the chips dead. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna try to run mats on this and then we'll see what it says. Yeah, there's something very wrong with the system. It should not be doing that rainbow. So I'm in Windows in safe mode, so we don't like try to install the driver and crash, and let's take a look at the report. Yeah. That looks like a dead core. So the entire F channel is just dead. Um like that's a lot of uh, th like this basically looks like the two memory modules are just not installed and uh we just have bit 0 to 63 failing like all the bits are dead and uh just like what do the errors look like okay that's uh, just a that's just a garbled mess so it's not data bus inversion like, I think if we said, like, 00FF, 00FF, or the other way around, that can, and, like, that indicates data bus inversion, which I've been told means dead memory controller, like, sometimes means dead memory controller. This is just a garbled mess. Um, so, yeah. Uh, there's one possibility. This card is using GDDR5. GDDR5 doesn't like has an external reference voltage and there is a chance that maybe that reference voltage is broken for this channel because as far as I know uh, the reference voltage is generated for every two chips like for every channel in independently so if the reference voltage for those is dead maybe that could also cause that but given that we have a hole in the core and see exactly one entire channel that is entirely dead. Um, I wouldn't count on that. I'm still gonna check it, uh, maybe off camera if it takes a bit too long. So there's one chance, one chance that this is repairable, but all the signs, like I've been told, this is a dead core. We have a hole in the core. We have an entire dead memory channel with all the bits dead. Like everything points towards dead core slash memory controller. But there's just one chance. With the reference voltage, as far as I know, it's independently created for every channel. And maybe this channel just has a broken reference voltage and the hole in the core is unrelated. Um, so I'm gonna make some checks. It will probably take some time. Uh, if it takes a lot of time, I will do it off camera, and I will see you again when I have my final verdict, like once I'm sure that it's a dead core or not. Okay, so I have done the uh, reference voltage check to the best of my abilities. Um, so what I've done is, uh, between each two memory chips, there's a transistor, as you can see. And that transistor is supposed to put out a voltage uh, just below one volt. And I know of a case where a card had two faulty memory banks and one entire channel because this transistor was not putting out the correct voltage. And as you can see, it's probably quite dark. Um, this transistor was actually resolded at some point. So whoever had the card before me probably had the same idea because this transistor was... Uh, manually soldered very obviously uh, and I was thinking that maybe maybe they did something wrong and it doesn't work but uh, it does put out the correct voltage that we want so yeah it's it's doing exactly what we want um, so yeah there's still a chance that maybe something's wrong with reference voltages like there's not just one reference voltage that's just the one that I know can happen with this transistor dies um, but yeah so the transistor works we have the correct reference voltage there and that's kind of just where my expertise ends so 
Sadly, I'm gonna have to declare this as dead core. Uh, there's not really anything I can try to do. Uh, I'm still a bit confused as to why the memory channel is dead. Like, the, the core damage we found is, like, in the middle, like, where the cores are. That's not where the memory channel, like, the memory controller is. The memory controller is on the very edge of the core. And there's no damage there. So, maybe the core damage is actually unrelated. And then the memory controller died anyway. Um... So yeah, sadly the uh, BIOS trick with disabling a memory channel doesn't work on Maxwell. Uh, if it did, I would try it, but uh, it only works on Fermi and Kepler. So yeah, it's just gonna have to declare it as a dead core. Um, so yeah, um, so I guess I'll be stealing some memory chips off of this to try and repair the tricks if I can. Uh, and that will be the end of this video. So, I mean, I was told beforehand that the card was dead. Uh, so I tried my best to, to maybe make it not dead, but, uh, you know, can't save them all, and uh, 980 Ti specifically are kind of known for, like, just having their cores die a lot, uh, and there's nothing you can do. So, I hope you still enjoyed the video, um, and I hope you maybe learned something, maybe about the reference voltage thing. Uh, anyway, so thank you for watching, and until next time, goodbye.